So I previously did a video about how to draw monster concepts quite fast and I drew on this sheet some just like some rough ideas um, and basically drawing it this way really quick you can create sheets and sheets of you know monster ideas and things like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to develop I think this one I'm going to change it somewhat uh, I'm going to give it some proper hands, but it's just going to be like the top half, exactly like I've drawn there, but maybe drawing differently. Um, come up with an idea separately for that, because I think that is the best one out of these. I do like that one, though. <laughs> this looks like it's just jumping off a, a roof or something, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to redevelop that one, uh, that idea, and see if I can make something more from it on a full piece of paper. So I want to loosely sketch something based on that idea um, drawn there, but I want to draw it differently. Um, see, I had more of an idea um, before I even drew that that one that I wanted to have it like looking like it was screaming and um, I don't know, coming out the ground or something. I don't know. Just just try and. Uh, just rejig it, rejig the uh, design a bit more. And we'll have these um, things in the air. I don't know if it's going to have like claw things. I don't know. I'll just give him some claw things. That one goes off the thing like that and just try and work out exactly what I'm sort of doing here so I'm sort of like marking maybe the floor or something like that and it's just to try and put some kind of context where this creature is or he's coming up over the edge of something probably I don't know just work it out um, the eye is quite angry looking there so maybe the mouth is just quite wide I don't know we're working something out we have uneven teeth working some more detail this is only like the sketch so I'll try and tighten things up when it comes to the inking but you look more like a potato head there and I suppose in this one it looks like a different style of potato <laughs> I don't know I want some like spikes on the head, but I don't want it to look like horns or anything, just like these weird spikes. There's some on the arms as well. So we've got our, our initial light pencil sketch. I think we're going to start to just add some dark lines. Use this ink pen just quickly go over some of the the main outlines that we need. We'll be going over every line. I just want to do some of the outline.
red teeth there. Um, another tooth there. Um, let me make some of these teeth a bit more uneven. Details there. Um, try and work these uh, claw things out. Make a bit more claw like there. Sort of like what look, look like tentacles and that. Um, but yeah. Maybe this will change this a bit. that more claw like so it just fits on the page so these lines that I'm drawing here I'm, I'm just trying to separate uh, some areas for light and dark there'll be some um, almost like veiny sort of bits um, you can see some of the vein there um, but I'm trying to work on just creating some that can be more lighter than the rest of them so just to create some nice texture on the arms looks a little, a little scribbly for now but that's the intention with it until I start adding shadows and stuff like that so still like uh, look back on my artwork and um, round about this type of stage I'd just do a bit more um, you know like a little bit of cross hatching here and there and then just erase the pencil lines and then it's done but now I seem to add more detail and uh, just work on things a bit more because if you I think if you push your drawings a bit more that they'll you know look a bit better you know there's maybe more detail there's maybe more things you can do on a drawing it's it's just seeing it through I think so I've talked about this in uh, other videos where I've sort of like feel like giving up you know before the drawings even started and then um, but I still stick with it and then it turns out to be an okay drawing so it's you know, it always is worth doing that. Draw these like spike things. So we've drawn like the initial outline, I think now it is time just to uh, maybe do a bit of the background. Um, I might just grey tone a bit of the background and see how that see how that looks actually. So I've got some warm grey, um, watered down drawing ink. I'm not really too concerned about any drippage or anything if that happens. I try not to let it happen but I'm not, if it does, uh, I'm not really bothered. Just want to try and get some grey. Don't mind if I go over the them like spike things I've drawn because I can go back over that. Just wanted to add some like grey tone in the background. I've gone over it there. It's 
they're not going to remain grey anywhere, the tentacle bits or anything. They're going to be a different colour. Thin that down a bit more. some darkness on the eyes I think I, just, I know they need to be dark I'm not too concerned about going over the lines there because it's going to be all bleeding this horrible black stuff the mouth I'll probably do an ink pen I just want there is some stuff coming out of the side there like that and I'll probably neaten up the rest uh, with an ink pen It'd be easier to do that. And I think a lot under here has to be darker as well, so I'll just darken all that. There's some areas here as well. Let me just go over them. I can remember where these spikes are and just use some white later on. slightly the only thing with this cheap drawing ink is when it's once you've added a good layer of it over it becomes almost like waterproof over the top which is a bit irritating but what can you do it's only cheap drawing ink let's use it for quick effects and you know quick colour sort of thing so just thin that bit off the top So sort of blended that in roughly, it's not perfect, but I didn't want it to be perfect. That's the whole idea behind it. So I'll wait till that dries and then I'm going to maybe get some different ink pens, come back, add some more detail and see what's what. So I've got like a paintbrush, pigma, well a pigma brush pen. <laughs> get it out. <laughs> Just got it out. Yeah. So I'm just using that just to neaten up these lines so I don't go over the teeth. So I don't want my teeth going over with the marker. Um, in between the teeth is okay. You know, just like um, more of this black dribble stuff, perhaps. But you get the hang of that. You get the... You get the meaning, I just need to fill in this all this area. Maybe the eyes are doing uh, the same, you know, there's lots of drips like all this black evil stuff just dripping out. <laughs> so yeah, but I've got to do this main bit where the teeth are. Quite like that. 
a lot of the time it's just about fleshing things out and adding texture and stuff to it and you know deciding where the darker bits shall be on the, on a drawing and so like I said <coughs> excuse me <coughs> like I said earlier these uh, they're almost like veiny fleshy bits and then these dark bits and here and there don't want to overdo it with the the brush pen really it's just about trying to see if there's any areas um, that are going to be darker than others so I think now um, underneath you know the arms are going to be darker than the top bit because you know the light is going to be you know well the light source is coming from above so underneath maybe here is going to be lots of um, texture and um, shadow so I can just add that in quite quick and use other ink pens later just to clean it up Awesome. Oh, maybe that like nose is dripping with other stuff. So do some like white highlights on that, I think. So you can see where I'm going with this. It's uh, gonna be a slow process when I'm drawing uh, in real time. But I like to do this now and again on the, you know, a few videos here and there. So now I've added like a lot of the shadow. Um, I can use a thinner ink pen and just go back, add more detail. But this will be the time lapse bit.
So this is, uh, I said, I don't know about the final um, design, but I've done as much as I can do for now. I uh, quite like the background, uh, the grey just off offsets it and make it look a bit more creepy and spooky. Um, and I just like the, the white ground like that. I don't know, I may add some more details, but I think it might take away from the creature, I think. But I quite, I quite like how I started with that drawing there, quick drawing, and then just came up with something totally different, which um, sort of resembled it with the, regards to the arms and things like that. But yeah, I quite like that. Anyway, <laughs> I'll leave it there. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now!